I'm Vince Harder. And we're Jaira. We're out here, beautiful Waikato. It's summertime, baby. And we are about to deliver you the most precious parachute Fresh. music festival experience ever, ever. 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 Coming up on the show, Silver Fern Cat Latu visits Auntie Tala. You trying to style your hair like mine, is that? I did, but <laughs> have I got it? Do I get it right? Oh, almost, yes, yeah, just you need a bit more time here. Oh, okay, yeah. so I'll work on that. And Mr. Lava Lava Samoa. First up, we catch up with Sweet Samoan Sisters, Marvial. Now, these girls have come back together, reformed, to perform here at Parachute. The last time they performed here was 94, and they're going to be showing you what's brown and around. So take it away, my sisters. The first time we performed at Parachute was 1996. We were 15, 16, and 17, and uh, that was... It's first place. Inspirational gospel music, we loved it. She was like, she lost it on stage. She cried. She just started out, yeah. you know, started from game. the bottom to win. It's a whole new ball game. Everything's changed in New Zealand. She's been in Germany, Brisbane, Sydney. We've come back and it's been a little bit overwhelming, but we're still yeah. better than we did last time when yeah. we had a breakup and argued our faces off. <laughs> but you would do that as youngsters, you know? And, and being young, my you know? And we, we grew up together. in the game, yeah. yeah. We traveled the world yeah. together. And very strong will, strong mouth, and <laughs> nah. strong willed women. And when you put three together, strong women together, sometimes it will clash and sometimes it works, and it works here. It's been awesome. We want you to join our girl Kat Latu as she goes to see Azitala. God bless. Bye! Is my husband cheating on me? Will I marry my future wife in the next two years? Will I win the lotto this weekend? Hi, I'm Fortune Tala. <laughs> wow! Welcome, Cam. So happy to see you. But you trying to style your hair like mine, is that? I did, but <laughs> have I got it? Do I get it right? Oh, it's almost. No. Yes, yeah, just you need a bit more time here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'll work on that next Okay. Week. What is it that you want to know for today? I have a few questions. Yeah? Um, as you already know, I'm a very famous netballer. 
very, very, very famous in New Zealand. You know that. You know that yeah, already. Okay, yeah. Um, I would like to know, so next year is the Commonwealth Games. Okay. I would like to know, first of all, if I'm going to make the team, and secondly, if we're going to win. So, okay. whatever you can do to help me there, whatever I need to do to change my future, maybe. Okay. Let me choose somebody. I am going to connect with the sports spirit. So what you have to do is you have to call it, it's like pushing a net pole. Okay. Okay, so it's like that. But you have to go whoosh, 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 three times. Okay, can you do that? Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Yeah, and now up in here. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. And now take a shot like you're going for cold, but when you cold, you go, you go cold, basket. Okay, so you go cold, basket. That's a bit of work. Yeah, it's a bit of work. Cold, basket. Okay, now I will call on from the spirit. <sighs> okay. Oh, wow, wow, do you know what this card means? Do you know what this the lava card? I know what lovers do. Oh, wow. There's, there's nothing to do with that. Oh. Remember when you played for Samuel Nepo? Oh, yes. Yeah, but you, you're not Samuel? Yeah, so <laughs> it's talking about that. That's about your past, which is oh, cool. Okay. It's talking about your past. All right, sorry. Okay, sorry. yeah, this, uh, wait about your past. Okay, this will talk about your future okay. and talk about uh, this year's uh, Olympic wealth came. Okay. Oh, that's a good news. Do you know what this means? Um, no. Looks like he's squatting. Well, it's like squatting, but what he's saying is it's hard work. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, yes, really hard oh. work to get to the top of the. See all these trophies? Yes, yes. That's yeah. what you, next year, you're going to be a real champion. Okay. As long as you keep squatting. Especially when you shoot the ball, you squat, yeah. and then you push the ball. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Pass the ball, pass the ball. <laughs> yeah, good kill. Good kill. You're going to be a good passer. Huh? Thank you. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow, thank you, thank you. Oh. Can you sing that with me? Yes, I'm 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 sorry, no, you can okay. mispronounce it. Okay, now this one is justice, which means that all these things is, is um, only going to happen just this once. Okay. okay, so that's what that means. What's going to happen just once? This, you are going to never ever play for Samoa because you are tired. Okay. Yeah. And also, you are only going to win the Olympic wealth one time. Oh, okay. yeah. I like that. Yeah. As long as you're in the team, that's the main thing. If we keep losing, who cares? Mm -hmm. As long as you're in this team, eh? That's what I thought. Okay, what a sad guy. Okay, <laughs> now for the last cut. Oh, that's it. That's, that's your life now. After the, the, the common uh, common kings games, then I'm gonna go on holiday. No, you and get to... a tan. Is that what you think? Well, that's, there's a sun there. Yeah, but what it means? Flowers. If you see that boy? Yeah. There's gonna be your son. Oh, he's got yeah. no clothes on. Yeah, because the baby comes out with no clothes. Oh, Have you yeah, seen a baby come sense. out with clothes before? I Once. don't think so, Kate. Yeah. What was that baby called, Chucky? Well, what can I say about Kat? Um, I'm happy she came, but you can tell she's just a wannabe. She's a wannabe fella. She's dyed her hair blonde. She even lost weight to try and look like me. I think the biggest threat, she's worried I'm going to take her position in the silver black. Because I'm really good. <laughs> I love those blondes. <laughs> anyway, we are here at Parachute Festival, main stage. It's a little bit empty, but it's gonna get real chocker soon after the break. But also after the break, you're gonna be coming into my world. It's gonna be really awesome. You're gonna get to see where I live, what I do, etc. etc. Anyway, stay close, don't go anywhere. Alright. You know, whether people like it or not, it's you know, I don't really care anymore. It's just like it's just about me being able to express myself and I, I love that I can do that with music. <laughs> Welcome back, Freshies. Here's a slice of my world and his world.
triple three. What's a triple three? Uh, so Someone who's sing, dance, dance, act. Yeah, man. Yeah, triple three. <laughs> triple three. Sound like a yeah triple cookie or something. <laughs> I realized that I enjoyed singing a lot more and so I started trying to, you know, challenge myself as a, as a soloist and entered competitions and then finally I got um, an audition uh, through Annie Crummer for Lion King and um, rehearsed with her and then got into the show and then did that for a good 12 months and after I did that I kind of took my time and um, connecting and networking and got into working with a real cool dude named P Money and then that's when I got into the music industry. And the rest is history. <laughs> I probably compare Primata to probably Henderson, West Auckland. It's my peeps. Hey, what's up? See, told you. It's cool. Yeah, they know me from way back. Moving to Sydney was kind of like a, a no-brainer because my friend said to me, you know, move here, we can do artist development, and that really interests me. This is the door that goes up to my studio with uh, JMA Entertainment. It's awesome. This is where we, uh, you know, develop artists and acts. I started a company here in Australia called Harder Music Group, and we wanted to write for art other artists and produce for them, and so we had a couple of opportunities to do that with X Factor New Zealand and wrote um, a track for Fenua, and then did a couple of tracks with Stan Walker, Morehouse and Drew, Nemia. Oh, look, there's some JMA students. These guys here. Oh, look at him, there he is. Oh, Paulie. What's up, man? But then on the, on the flip side of that, there are artists that didn't really have the know-how to put music out, and so I wanted to be able to connect them with the right people to put their music on radio, and Fortunate were one of the groups from Australia that we helped put their music out in New Zealand. You know, it's always a um, big commitment and a big process trying to create an artist and I feel like you know if there's something that's genuinely special then I'd, you know, I'd go for it and just work with them. Say so what's up Fresh TV? What's up Fresh? <laughs> you guys gonna sing a song for these guys? Uh, <laughs> come on, come on. You're everything that I see, I want your love and oh, yeah, yeah. endlessly. It's awesome being able to like see them like achieve their goals and their dreams through music you know because music's my passion so you know it's I guess it's a no-brainer being able to do that. These guys just did, um, they just did boot camp. Like, they were awesome. Yeah. I just found out who you were today. <laughs> Joel Minera, I freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> Parachute 2014 is going to be massive for me because um, not only am I doing my own set, I'm also going to be getting together with my friends. We're used to be in a group called Gyra. You know, it's like turning the clock back another 10 years and it's going to be really special. In terms of the industry, I reckon it's more about your work ethic than your talent because, you know, there's a lot of acts out there that are not the best singers, but they have, you know, been successful because of their work ethic and then continually uh, make music and continually, you know, reach out to the fans. I'd say it'd be like 30, 70s, something like that. <laughs> so I just finished, uh, you know, laying down a little beat over there, so I'm just going to try a vocal um, and just muck around for a few melodies, I guess. I wanna do this all day Just put my melodies out to everybody out there Fresh TV, can you hear me? Can you feel me? Yeah Putting it out there, you know, you never know what people are gonna think and, you know, you can kind of get a little bit, you know, hurt from all of that kind of stuff but I've learned to kind of just let go and just, you know, put these ideas out and whatever I put my mind to, I just do it and, you know, whether people like it or not, it's, you know, I don't really care anymore it's just like, it's just about me being able to express myself and I, I love that I can do that with music Fresh TV, put it out everywhere, TV oh, <laughs> Up next, you're gonna be hanging out with Pani and Pani on the search for Mr. Lover Lover Samoa. Hey, how's it going? Oh, I used to be a teacher. This is music teacher music and, and drama, drama teacher. <laughs> Henderson High School. Henderson High School. <laughs> we did a drama piece where I had to just wear a towel and that was it. Like Mr. Lover Lover. <laughs> 
I've seen it all. Walla, Batman. Welcome back, Freshies. I'm your boy, Vince Harder. And we're Jaira. We're going to take you back to Samoa to go and visit some of your favourite aunties, Bunny and Bunny. That's right, and their search for Mr. Lava Lava Samoa. Oh, Mr. Lava Lava. Mmm. Oh, Mr. Lava Lava. Mmm. Oh, Mr. Lava Lava. Mmm. Lava Lava. Yeah. Lava Lava. Lava Lava. We will put contestants from different islands to the test, and the winners will then go on to our grand finale in New Steeler for Mr. Lava Lava title. There's some serious prizes up for grabs, and the winner will become the face of Manners Menswear range for 2014. Our search began in the Cook Islands, and Betro took the crown, and will be representing the Cook Islands in a New Zealand finale. So, that's how it went down in the Cook Islands. But we know you guys are greedy and you want some more. So that's what we bought you here in Samoa! Yeah. Let's see what Samoa's got for us then. Oh, oh yes, please. Uh -huh. My name is Andrew. I am from Baimoso. I'm a single boy. Wow. wow. I'm here to be a salmon warrior. Oh, wow. Well, well. Bunny and Bunny, your search for the Mr. Lava Lava is over, because I'm right here. I'm from Banganga. I'm one of my many talents, playing rugby and long walks on the beach. Wow. Oh, what a cutie. He's cute. How old is he? Six? My talent is uh, I sleep the whole day. <laughs> Uh, we got the cooking skills, we got the lady skills. Modeling is not exposed in Samoa, so I have to look for another career. And I can um, take you to, to Sumba Fitness. Next. I'm uh, from the beautiful village of Malolulu and uh, if you girls are here, I promise I'll show you a good time. Hello, Yo. Yo. Sanili Mauro Ungo. Wee, wee, wee. I've seen it all. Walla, Batman. Look at those wings. Look at those thighs and look at, look at those pirates. This is the best job in the world. Minute. I'm from uh, the village of Mali. I'm 25 years of age. He looks like a Fanta bottle. Look, I don't make a speaker. Okay, I'm going to be here. No. Wola. He took that off in like two seconds. I swear. Wow, even a wowser. It means he can handle the needle. The needle of love. And don't ask me to take off my shirt, because I don't want to make other people jealous. That ushery. He does look like usher. Does he so... Go, and go, get rid of whoa, the whoa, 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 Get whoa. rid of them. This, this is great. I love the hair. It's very, um, Whoopi Goldberg. It's very Michael Jackson. And all the Jackson 5 in one. Love it. Does he look like Uncle Pisani? <laughs> Oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. How's Auntie Palepa? Now I'm uh, 23. Oh. I'm single. Uh, I can dance. And I can play rugby. I don't want you to miss this. Pick me, babe. Wow! Wow! I'm from Alamoko and Popo Savai. Oh, hello Ooh. there. Who are you? How old is this guy? I'm 35 years old. Well, he's 10 years older than us, but I love it. guess it's fine. That's fine. We like older men. He is. Yeah, he's very gorgeous. cute. Uh, if you pick me, I promise I'll carry you 100 meters down the field and back. Wow. He's Superman as well. Woo. Well, I've already chosen mine, Barnes. Have you, Barnes? Yes, I have, Barnes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who will go through. Mr. Lova Lova. Lova. Mm. Mr. Lova Lova. Lova. I'm Calvin Westerlin and I'm from the village of Lipea in Waitoloa. 
To all the ladies, I'm gonna light your fire, because I'm the fireman. My name is Andrew. My body, that's from the Taro and the Balu Sambi. I'm gonna win this competition because I'm a natural summer. My name is Suya William Falelia Sewao. I am very, very proud to be a Samoa. So I'm here today to win this. Hi, my name is Sam Malau Yu. I'm from Malmoko and Port Savai. I'm the oldest guy here, but I'm gonna show these boys what a real man is. I'm Mark Sanga and I'm from the beautiful village of Malolele. I'm gonna win this competition because I got the looks, I got the charm, I got the intelligence, the closest thing you can get to the perfect man. My name is Vito from Vito. The reason why I think uh, I'm gonna win this competition, I'm the only one who got the real Samoan tech. I'm the true Samoan warrior. My name is Upenga. I'm from Fort Fulele. I'm real Samoan. I will show you the muscle. This is how I'm gonna win. I'm Petia Bui. I'm from Tolo. I'm too hot, that's why I never wear a shirt. I think I'm gonna win this competition because I got the whole package. My name is Samuel Fipre. I'm from Falilong New. One way I impress girls is by baking chocolate chip cookies with chocolate fudge. Because it's all sweet inside, shows you how sweet you are. My name is Dana Rasmussen and I'm from the village of Malifa. And one thing I definitely have is finesse. And that's what I'm bringing to this competition. Next week on the search for Mr. Lava Laver. We want you to create a gift for us with just your hand. <laughs> I've never made a gift for a girl before. The most creative thing I can do is probably my hair. I think I got the best gift. Finishing touches. I was thinking I might be the one going home. Freshies, thanks so much for hanging out with us at Parachute 2014. But come back next week if you've got a thing for festivals, because we'll be taking you to Raga Muffin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, greetings world, we are Rebel Soldiers. Keep it locked for your island goodness right here on Fresh. Mr. Lova Lova. Mr. Lova Lova. I'm Mr. Lova Lova. We are the band Arija. And this is our world. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.